Hey everybody, here we are at Canadian Forces Base Comox in British Columbia and what you're seeing is a Block 4 CP-140 Aurora which belongs to 407 Squadron which is a long-range maritime patrol squadron based here at Comox. Uh, the Block 4 is the newest iteration of the CP-140 and the distinguishing feature is the large canoe on the dorsal spine of the aircraft and that is meant to facilitate high bandwidth video communication through satellite. So let's just take a quick walk around of the CP-140 of, of the Block 4 CP-140. And what you see back here has long been on the Aurora. It is a magnetic anomaly detector, and that's meant to detect a change in the Earth's magnetic field. And over the ocean, one can expect that to be a submarine, which is a big piece of metal. So that's what that is meant to do. And what you'll notice as we get closer here is at the bottom of this aircraft, that's where a number of sonoboys can be released that drop into the ocean and try to help find submarines because the CP-140 is designed as an anti-submarine warfare platform but it can also do ISR missions, which is intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Relatively new to the Aurora are some electronic support measures equipment, and that's meant to help protect the aircraft and also collect intelligence. And this particular Aurora has markings for Can the Royal Canadian Air Force's 100th anniversary, which is in 2024. And a notable feature is right behind or right below where it says 100 that's where uh, a weapons bay is located and that's where this aircraft will house torpedoes and other equipment that it can drop So there, my friends, is a quick walk around of the Block 4 CP-140 Aurora of the Royal Canadian Air Force.